Hey everyone, Agron Frost here. Uh, today I've received a nice little FCBM from Pokemon Fan 3250. Uh, can't remember what it's for, but I'll check my messages and when I find out I will put it in the description. In the meantime, I have opened up the little package he sent me. And. Oops, sorry about that just the camera here for better viewing. Um, it's not a whole lot, but it's pretty cool. So I'll just uh, start with stuff. Uh, Unknown K Reverse from Mysterious Treasures. Uh, Stormfront Combi Reverse. Patrat. Watchhog. Professor Rowan, Trap Inch, Team Galactic's Mars, Spoink, Pokeball, Sage's Training, Potion, Trico, Pinaco, Pikachu. This is a really awesome looking Pikachu. I'm going to put that in my collection. Uh, Roseanne's Research. This is a World Championships 2008 card. Research record. Celio. That looks pretty cool too, actually. Offside. Uh, Wingull. Panpour. Centret. And Doduo. Um, in addition to these cards, um, I did receive four, four, five more cards. One of which he stated was a fake card that was apparently falsely inserted into this free cards, but when I examined the cards even further, uh, I've discovered that more than just one card was a fake. So uh, this Porygon 2 definitely is a fake. Uh, the text is wrong, like the font definitely on the uh, description as well. Uh, as you, If you've seen uh, Primetime Pokemon's thing, fake cards are really flexible, so yeah. This is definitely a fake. Now this Dialga I was kind of debating on, but then I examined the reverse foil more, and I remembered that Diamond and Pearl series reverses uh, looked more like this, with little beams of light going across them. But this one is just straight foil, so that is also a fake. But other than that, the rest of the card is actually legit. So this was just a scan, and then it was fitted with some improper foil. Uh, this Aeron, you can clearly tell it has a reflective foil, so that's totally wrong. Uh, other stuff that's notable is the font is totally wrong. It's got that uh, bendy aspect to it. Uh, this is a crocodile which is named Waru Biaru, which is, I guess it's Japanese name translated into English. But the rest of the card is in English English. It doesn't even have a description down here. Like, even on my camera you can see it doesn't have any text. Uh, spacing, it doesn't have the type of Pokemon it is, like the species. So yeah. And something I was actually disappointed in was that it was a fake Tornadus. Um, once again, it doesn't have the thing that says what species it is. Uh, spacing on the info is wrong. No description. And it says black and white one down here. It has an R for the rarity and has first edition. And once again, it's Torneros, which is its Japanese name translated. So there are uh, it's a few fake cards in there. I'm not too disappointed. I guess fake cards are kind of cool for a little collection. But um, yeah, there were some fake cards in here, but that's OK. The stuff he did send me was pretty cool overall. 
I don't ever know when I'll use it, but um, yeah. Sync, for the most part, is a very nice FCBM from him. So, uh, Pokemon Fan3250, thank you for the free cards. Um, I am sad to say that five of them were fakes, but I guess that's just what happens. Um, yeah. Just show you guys the fakes again. Tornadus, Crocodile, Aeron, Dialga, and Porygon 2. So, yeah, um, thank you Pokemon Fan3250 once again for the free cards that were legit. Um, and I guess for the fakes that can go into my, uh, maybe I'll start a little collection of fakes because I have a few more. But, yeah. This is Agaron Frost, and talk to you guys later.